How could a single gunshot wound to the leg be a fatal injury? Fox Eyes' Melanie Olmwick joins us now with some answers. Mel? Well, Brian, trauma experts say a severed femoral artery is the kind of injury you'd see on the battlefield or among bullfighters. It's also among the most difficult to fix. Now, post-surgery responses that we've heard about, like hand squeezing, are always a good sign. But that doesn't mean a patient with this severe injury is going to survive. In the crucial minutes after Sean Taylor was shot, in the minutes it took for his girlfriend to call 911, the star football player's life may have seeped away from him. The gunshot wound to the femoral artery can have enormous destruction to the artery. And since it's such a large artery, within a few minutes, most of your blood volume can be pumped out from the injury. Dr. Paul Masmiano, chief of vascular surgery at Inova Fairfax Hospital, explains it's the blood loss that can do the most damage. There's not oxygen going to the tissues because there's no blood to carry it. So within minutes, there can be injury to the brain, to the heart, and to all the organs just from lack of oxygen. After several hours of surgery at Miami's Jackson Ryder Trauma Unit, many believed Taylor was going to survive. But doctors know all too well that what we wish for doesn't always come true. And everyone's expectation is that we can save everybody. But a, a gunshot wound to the femoral artery with rapid blood loss can be fatal even in 2007. Now, Jackson Memorial Hospital has not been able to release any details of what happened with Sean Taylor overnight, not even the exact time of death. A spokesperson tells me they are waiting for authorization from Taylor's father.